Okay, we've actually seen this kind of thing before in San Diego. Over the years, there have been numerous emergency landings away from any airport. News 8's Brandon Lewis is live at Gillespie Field tonight to show us how those compare to what happened last night in Carlsbad. Brandon? Yeah, Carlo and Barbara Lee, in many of these cases, the pilots will report some sort of issue with their engine prior to making that emergency landing. One pilot that we spoke with here says that it is all about training and safety and, of course, preparation for any of these unusual circumstances they may encounter while up in the air. Every day, small planes take off and land at San Diego's General Aviation Airports. Southern California's weather makes it a pilot's dream. There's lots of room for us to uh, go and practice, train, and become uh, uh, pilots. Unfortunately, things don't always go to plan. Every now and then, we do have problems with our aircraft. With all those millions of hours being flown, and the very few uh, aircraft incidents that we have. Which is why pilots train for unusual landings. We do try to maintain that calmness because we practice, for example, these engine outs. So most of the time when I go fly, as I'm coming back here to the Gillespie Airport, I will practice an engine out landing. If it sounds like there are more small planes buzzing around our skies, you're right. More than 15,000 single engine planes are based in California, more than any other state. Gillespie is the 10th busiest general aviation airport in the nation, in part because it's home to eight flight schools. An instructor based here made headlines when he landed on the 8 freeway during a lesson. Everyone survived. People might say this is an unsafe uh, profession, unsafe occupation, but I don't think so at all. I think it's extremely safe. Still, it can feel unnerving seeing a plane where it's not supposed to be. When an airplane lands on the freeway, that's out of the ordinary. And out of the ordinary is usually newsworthy. Yet aviation experts stress it's not often, given the millions of hours planes spend buzzing over San Diego skies. And we always have a plan in front of us of if I lose my engine here, what am I going to do next? Kudos to the pilot who was able to uh, get his uh, aircraft down and uh, landed safely. That's what we expect. That's what we train to do. The NTSB is investigating the crash in Carlsbad. Usually they have a preliminary report out within the first few weeks, but the final report, it can take up to a year. Carlo and Barbara Lee will send it back to you in the studio. All right, Brandon, thank you.